So I'm back, and like I was saying, I was talking about the Hank Man, you know, being a, a part of me, having some connection with myself. And, um, I, but now I want to talk about an experience that my daughter had, and um, I'm talking about it. She don't hear me talking about it, so I'm, I can do it now, but if, if she wouldn't want me to talk about it, but it's between just us. But my daughter has had one, and it has frightened her. Like I said, my the only reason I I was more shocked, and the only reason why I would say the word frightened is because after the fact, and you know, just after just thinking about it, you know, trying to figure out, you know, why it was a concern enough to come out and show itself to me, that that frightened me. But now my daughter had a terrifying experience with one. And I've never had a terrifying experience. And I'm going to talk about her experience. Her experience. She's 20 years old. And um, she got up and she was, you know, yelling and she said she couldn't breathe. And I was like, you know, what's going on? She said it was a, a, a jet black man trying to hold me down. And I said, what? I said, would that? Let me ask you something. And I, before she even talked about it, because she had a difficult time talking about it, I wanted to just go ahead and describe it to her, you know, to just uh, relieve her of having to say it because it was just like she was just almost frozen. I said, did this thing have a tiny pointed top head and some broad shoulders and, and a little bitty frame at the bottom and it was really, really tall? And she said, she screamed. And she said, oh, my God. She said, that's what I saw. How do you know? I said, because that thing came to me. And I can't say that they were the same because the one that came to me was more curious. It was not frightening. Well, I won't say it wasn't frightening. It was more shocking. I'm going to go back to, to that again. I don't want to get minds confused with people who have a bad experience because I've heard people that have said in the past that the, uh, those particular entities do not usually do harm. But I have read in books where people have said that it has done harm to them. And my daughter has had an experience. But I myself would take the stand of the other people that these entities would not do anything harmful to you. Um, but I can't uh, uh, speak for the people who said, oh, yes, it has. But anyway, she said she was laying on her back and the thing held her arms down, her body down, and she couldn't move. And uh, it frightened me because I didn't know if that was the same one, and I just don't feel like it was the same one that would have done her like that, because this one right here, I say was more, was more friendlier than that. But anyway, um, she said it held her down, and she had to tr try to hold her legs closed, both of them, because they were trying to open her legs up. And she said it, it, it was like as if though they were trying to have intercourse with her, and that was scary, that was shocking. And because I, I was like, oh, my God, you know, we got to get this thing out of the house. It was not this house. It was another house. I said, I want this thing out of my house. At that particular time, she was like 17 years old. She's 20 now. She hadn't had any more because I, I had I made her a charm and I made her amulet for protection to go over her bed. And she always have that at the pole of her bed at all times. And I told her, I said, you when you go home, I mean, when you go to sleep, I'm sorry, you, sh you should always have this on your bed. They, they are frightened of it, and they wouldn't want to have anything to do with it. They won't even come around. So she has not had an experience like that. She has had some experience then, but now here, you know, she hadn't had anything like that to happen to her anymore. But she was so terrified and just afraid to go back to sleep because she didn't know whether that thing was going to come back again. But anyway, um, she had a bad experience. That's one bad experience. I read in a book about one. Oh, and I'm sorry. Ooh, let me wait, wait, wait. I got to tell you about my friend. Uh, my friend, um, she was, she was uh, pregnant. I say about eight, nine months pregnant. And she said that she was in a sleep state when one came to her. She said she was lying on a beach. It was beautiful. And the sun was so pretty. She's, she's from the Bahamas. And she said she was lying on this beach. And the sun was out. And it was just gorgeous out. And she had something uh, to drink, like a little pina colada or something. And she was just looking at her stomach because the stomach, you know, she was pregnant and everything. You know how you do when you're pregnant. You're looking at your stomach and you're rubbing it and stuff. And all of a sudden, that sunlight just turned into complete darkness. 
almost as if though it had gotten to be night. And she said uh, when it did that, she saw an entity that was like a black void, but it had a hat on. She said it had a big old Zora hat. The hat like Zora would wear the guy with the cape. And she said it had a cape too. And she said it came over her and it, it, it draped this cape over her and it had intercourse with her. And she said it, to, uh, she, it didn't have to talk to her, but some kind of way it was letting her know that it was going to take her baby with it. And she said all of a sudden, all she felt this release and um, this relief almost. And the entity she just saw come up off of her and it, uh, its cape came up off of her and it flew into the sky, she said. She remembered and it had something in its hand when it flew off. So she said immediately she began to have labor pain. She went to the doctor. The doctor referred her to go to the emergency room. When she got to the emergency room, they said, you're fixing to deliver your baby. Said the baby was born, but it was born stillborn. She says to the day, she knows that that thing went off with her baby. And I had wanted to, you know, talk about that. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute.